so uh, today we'll be checking our uh, plugin that's the magento 2 product table attribute plugin now this particular plugin helps the web store admin to create a table attribute for the products the table attribute allows a multi-dimensional presentation of the product data in the form of a table and it is useful in managing multiple uh, data entries of a single product also it allows the admin to add multiple tables to the single product page apart from that the admin can add as many rows and columns to the product table for showing the detailed information about the product that displays on the product page at the storefront so right now you can see that I'm at the uh, web store front end for the Magento 2 platform based web store and here I'm on one of the products that's the Montana wind jacket and under the charts we have the particular product table uh, there itself so this is how the product table gets visible to the uh, customers on the product page and the admin can add uh, multiple tables to a single uh, product and that those tables would then be listed under the charts itself so you can uh, set up the chart uh, label here and then you can set up the uh, uh, labels for the different columns so you can create these columns from the back end there for the uh, product under the product attributes so uh, in today's video tutorial i'll be uh, taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin so i'll be showing you how to to create the table attribute how to assign uh, uh, or how we can uh, do the assignment of the table attribute to the attribute set and then we'll see how to use the table attribute for a product itself so uh, before we proceed further kindly do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up so uh, right now uh, what I'll do is I'll just take you to the admin backend panel and I'll be showing you how we can create these uh, table uh, attributes so that they get visible on the uh, product pages thereafter so I'll show you that uh, particular process so first of all let me take you to the admin backend panel so here I'm at the backend and I'll have to log into my admin backend panel by entering my username password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. So after we have logged into our admin backend panel now, let's see how to create a table attribute. So for that, what we need to do is we need to navigate through stores and then under attributes, we'll go to the product and here we are on the product attribute section now to add a new uh, attribute of the uh, type table attribute we'll what we'll do is we'll just tap here on the add new attribute button that would bring up the new product attribute section wherein we have to set up the attribute information that uh, includes the properties manage label and the storefront properties now under the attribute properties we'll set up the default label uh, for our uh, attribute that we are going to create so for this demonstration let me choose it as test attribute so this one I'm going to create and I'll be setting up uh, a few column names and I've also created one uh, more uh, uh, table attribute with the name size so first let's uh, check this one out how we can uh, create the catalog input type or uh, for the store owner as the table so after entering the default label here from the drop down we'll choose the catalog input type for the store owner as table now that brings up the manage column section and here you will be able to add multiple columns now these columns then appear at the storefront uh, here uh, like the uh, label size India UK chest length and the shoulders so these column names can be created from here from this particular section so for now I'll just be entering a few uh, column names here uh, for example I'll set it as size length uh, length breadth and uh, now the uh, can you know that uh, you can create the uh, table attributes for your multiple store waves as well so for them you have to enter the details for the US and for example we have set it as India so I'll just uh, go ahead and I'll do it uh, for the US one and uh, if you want to add you can add more columns or you can remove the columns as well and uh, that's it uh, after that what we need to do is you will go to manage label 
and you will set uh, your test column label here or the label name here so I'll just choose that up and uh, then we'll just tap here on the save attribute button so we have saved our uh, table attribute uh, here within the product attributes so if I go ahead and enter test and hit the enter button let's check that out so here's our test attribute and if I tap on that uh, let me tap on that once again and here's our test attribute and the catalog input type for the store owner is uh, table type and here is the uh, column the three columns that I've created let me remove the fourth one and let's tap here on the save attribute button now let me show you how we can uh, how uh, the assignment of the table attribute to the attribute set can be done so for that uh, we need to navigate through stores and then attributes under attributes we'll go to the attribute set now here we'll be choosing a uh, attribute set uh, for which the table attribute would be available whenever uh, uh, whenever the admin is going to create a new product so for example if I go to the top uh, attribute set I'll just open that up and uh, here's the uh, top attribute uh, set and here's our test attribute let me take this up and let me drop it down here within the top and let's tap here on this save button now what will happen is that whenever the admin now goes uh, to create a product and he selects the attribute group as top then the table attributes would be available there for uh, setting up the values and uh, if he chooses any other uh, attribute set uh, for uh, which is not assigned uh, then uh, he'll see that uh, no table attributes are available for that particular attribute set so now uh, let's see how to use the table attributes for a product so for that uh, what I'll do is I'll go to the catalog and then products and uh, we'll be creating a new product from here so here I'm on the uh, product listing page so I'll just tap here on the add product button and here we are on the new product page uh, creation section as you can see so here you can see that uh, the attribute uh, right now is the default one to make use of the table attribute I need to choose the attribute set as top so if I choose the attribute set as top then what happens is that if I scroll down here I'll find one section with the name table attributes and if I tap on that I have the test attribute along with the columns that is size length breadth and uh, to add the values I can tap here on the add and we can enter the details uh, there similarly we can add multiple rows there also I had already told you that I had also created one size chart uh, table attribute so this is the one and here we can add the uh, details for the same now uh, for example if uh, I'm not uh, uh, we had used this uh, table attribute within the attribute set that is top attribute set now when we select the top attribute set uh, we can find our uh, table attributes here otherwise if we are going to choose any other one uh, that has not been assigned the table attribute then we'll see that uh, the table attributes would not be available there so here you can see that under table attributes no table type attributes are available for the attribute set gear that we have chosen so let's go back to our top uh, attribute set and I'll scroll down here and here's the size chart so we can add the values there so for the time being uh, let me go ahead and let me uh, enter the details here uh, let's set it as small medium uh, small medium large uh, then let me set it as uh, 23 24 25 15 16 17 and then let me set the chest as 34 35 36 uh, let me set it as 23 24 25 shoulder uh, 13 14 and fi 15 all right let me set it as 15 and uh, the same goes for this one let me enter the details double XL I'll just enter one line for that length 23 and breadth is 45 
and let me enter the details of the product there and uh, let me quickly create a product with the attribute set as top so let me set it as test shirt I'll set the price quantity the weight of the product uh, I'll choose the category there for the same and uh, under the table attributes I've already added the values for the table attributes and uh, let me add one image to this particular product as a t-shirt and uh, okay and let me save this up now we'll go to the storefront and we'll be able to view our table attributes there for this newly created product that we have just created that's the test shirt so let the product save itself up so we have saved the product that's the test shirt now let me go to the storefront and let me search for the test shirt So here's the test shirt product. Let's go to the product page of the same. So I've just tapped on that. So here's the product page for the test shirt. And here are the multiple charts that we have added. One is the size chart and one is the test attribute uh, table uh, attribute that we had added with the size double XL length and breadth. And this is the other one. So that was the working of this particular plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding how we can create the uh, what we say as the product table attributes using the Magento 2 product table attribute plugin. And uh, if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding this particular plugin then do connect to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.qvdesk.com. Apart from that if you find this particular video helpful. Uh, somewhat then do kindly give it a thumbs up so, and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead